Hello everyone, I know the lighting is horrible but I depend on natural lighting and I sit in front of my roof window but it's currently getting dark outside so I don't have very much light other than from my desk lamp so yeah, we're just gonna do it like this Today I have filmed a video for you while it was still light outside so that's fortunate of all the books on my shelf that I have not read yet and there are a lot of books that I have not yet read. Whoa, my camera just flipped backwards. Did you see that? That was weird. Anyway, you see there my three shelf spaces. I've got a lot of books there that I have not yet read. These are my bookshelves. I've got three empty spaces where I could, could put my books. The rest is all like house supplies and food and mugs, stuff like that. This is my first shelf space thing. I've got two pop dolls, I've got Castiel with glittery wings and I've got Astrid from How to Turn Your Dragon. And here I've got a mug with my bookmarks. I'm still collecting them so I only have four. So yeah. Then I've got a tiny bottle of salt just because I uh, love Supernatural and I, yeah for safety, you know? The next thing I've got on my shelf is this knitted little bunny and I made this myself and I have a blue one and a pink one and a pink one is on my next shelf. Lastly I've got two Outlander DVDs and I haven't unwrapped these but I don't care. I haven't read Wool by Hugh Howie, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levitan, uh, The Kill Order by James Dashner and The Eye of Minds by James Dashner. On this shelf I've got a lot more books that I haven't read. I've got some buttons, I've got a Game of Thrones one, a I Am Sherlock one, a Hogwarts one, a Deathly Hallows one, last but not least, a TARDIS. Then I have two more pop dolls, I've got a Bobblehead Groot, Dancing Groot and a Bobblehead Star-Lord because I love Guardians of the Galaxy. All the books I have not read on this shelf are The Supernatural Book of Monsters, Spirits, Demons and Ghouls by Alex Irvin. John Winchester's Journal, also by Alex Irving. A Once Upon a Time Tale, Reawakened, and I have no clue who the author of this book is. Ink Heart by Cornelia Funke. Deadly Heat by Richard Castle. Frozen Heat, also Richard Castle. Heat Rises, also by Richard Castle. Naked Heat by Richard Castle. Shiver by Maggie Stiefvader. And His Last Bow by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Broadchurch by Erin Kelly. The Silurian Gift, a Doctor Who novella thing by Mike Tucker, To Miss With Love by Catherine Bur Burbalsing, A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin, Cinder by Marissa Meyer, Teacher Man by Frank McCourt, City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare, Clockwork Angel also by Cassandra Clare. Then the last shelf I've got Elsa and Anna and they got my lovely books. I've got two perfumes, I've got a Minnie Mouse Symptom, Huge Jar of Coffee, 21 Proms by a lot of different authors. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. The Martian by Andy Weir. Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. A Monster Calls also by Patrick Ness. Watch Ship Down, a special edition by Richard Adams with illustration. Love Tanya by Tanya Burr. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. To Serve With Love by E.R. Braithwaite The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky If I Stay and Where I Went by Gail Foreman How to Write a Novel by Melanie Sumner And last but not least Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alier Benjamin Alier Seance? I really can't pronounce his name that's it for today. You can like this video if you liked it, if you like, and you can comment below on what books you haven't read yet, and if you have read any of the books I haven't, so you can recommend them to me. That would be nice. And um, yeah, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!